somebody ought to open your mouth and give him praise. Woo! Hallelujah. Woo! Somebody throw your hands up in the air and wave them and praise God right now. We left you praising God. We come back on praising God to let you know Jesus is the same yesterday and forever. You right now are sitting in a place of a miracle. I don't care what you're going through. God has already told us we need to cross over. Tell somebody I'm not afraid to. Oh, I need to holler for myself. You need to say it with power. There's someone that's viewing this telecast. They're in a place of being bound. They're in a place of being held back. And all they need to do is have somebody to be in agreement with them to tell your neighbor and say, I'm not afraid to. Joshua 1. Joshua, the book of Joshua, the first chapter. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, hallelujah, hallelujah. Tell somebody, I just got, I've got to get my praise in right here. to excuse me because I need for you to remember that the person behind you, beside you, in front of you, behind or in back of you, viewing and, and in the hospitals and listening, they are saying right now, if I just had one person that would just say it again, I'm not afraid to make that move. It is after the death of Moses that Joshua comes to the front. And he is now telling the people, we need to rise up and take another step. We know everything that Moses has done. We know what God has used Moses to do. And we also know what you've done to hinder Moses. Ain't nobody say that to that. But we also understand it's a new day. With a new dawn. And now it is time for us to move forward. I need for you to understand as I'm teaching this today that you got to be able to just cross over the situation. That that was holding you hostage, that that had your feet bound that you couldn't even step because the top of you was free. But you were afraid to make the next step. But God is clearly letting us to know it is now time to cross over into your greater blessing. It is also now time for you to understand that those things that you were using before are now dead. It is that God said, I've given you a new anointing for a new time. I've given you a new time of breakthrough. This is your time of breakthrough. And according to the Hebrew calendar, 5779, which is a year of prosperity, blessings, and manifestation, and birthing. Birthing is taking place in you right now. You thought you could hold back, but God said, you're going to deliver this here thing. You're going to deliver your business. If you got a business that's coming alive, God said, I'm going to let you birth your business. I'm going to let you birth that thing that you got in ministry. I'm going to let you birth that word that you spoke over your grandchildren. I'm going to let you birth that word that you spoke over your children. I'm going to allow you to birth it right now in the name of Jesus. You can no longer hold back any longer. Your water has already broken. And now that your water is broken, you got to stand up and say it is time the one thing I realized when I feel like I can tell you right now that the enemy wants to shut you down he wants to shut you down shut your praise down shut you down from being able to respond like you need to but I come to tell somebody today you can no longer hold back any longer God said it's your time and it's your turn. Hey, hey, hey. Woo. You thought you were in a drought. <laughs> yeah, you thought you were going through. It looked like the adversary was winning over you. But tell your neighbor the devil is a liar. 
Oh, I need some power in this house. Do I have any power in the house? Do I have any believers in the house? Tell your neighbor, the devil is a liar. The devil thought he was going to have you bound and hung up and you would sit there and have pity on yourself. Pity can't bring Pat and you don't want Pat because Patty brings pity. You don't need pity nor Pat. What you need is a strong strength of the Holy Ghost to come on and strengthen you on your journey. You are on a new journey. You thought that the enemy was winning. No, God was just putting you in the ship. Uh, he's shifting you around in some... Let the redeemed of the word Lord say what? Here it is. You're in the shifting of your life. You thought it was the devil. But God said, if you are really seeking me, and you have, then you're in the move and a part of the move. Somebody caught that. Not are you, only are you in the move, you're a part of the move of God. Now, are you witnessing the shifting in the Holy Ghost? You're a part of the shifting. That's why God is moving you. You, he took his time. He shifted you slowly to the other side. He wanted you to understand what you had just went through. To know that it was nobody but the Lord that was bringing you out. All right. Shifting. You've been blaming the devil for God's blessing. You say, why this road? God said, I'm shifting you because I'm reordering your footsteps. I can only say this to folk that's going through that understand what I'm talking about. He is shifting you because he's reordering your footsteps and bring a new order to your life. Now, now, you've been giving the enemy credit because it looked like the adversary was wearing you down. That was because you wasn't sure about God, what God was speaking to you. But you forgot the prayer that you prayed. You said, Lord, I give this into your hands to do as you see fit. So then when it looked like you were getting ready to take another journey, you didn't understand God put you there for a reason. Tell somebody you're in the right place at the right time. Somebody's life shall be saved today. Somebody's life will be saved today. Because I'm in the right place at the right time. I had to go to another job, but I'm in the right place at the right time. I had to move to another place, but I'm in the right place at the right time. Somebody's life is depending on me to be in the right place at the... I'm trying to keep it together. So... Joshua calls the people. You may have said no to a lot of things before, but you're going to move today. You've told people, I just can't do it. But you forgot God said, if I anoint you, if I appoint you, if I've chosen you, I will give you the provisions to make it. You're afraid to birth that business? You're afraid to do what God has called you to do in ministry? You're afraid to speak life over your children, your grandchildren? You're afraid to tell that devil he got to get up out your house? You're afraid to go and ride on that highway and tell that devil, I'm not going to be afraid to drive my car again because I was in a car accident on the other day? I'm going to get over my fear and move forward. Yes, I'm going to cross over that Jordan. I'm not going to allow it to hold me back any longer. I'm coming to tell somebody today, it's your time to come out of that particular situation. Come out of the cave of hiding and come from behind the walls of fear. Be able to stand 
flat footed and declare and decree whatever thus said the Lord to you speak those things that are not as though they are we gonna do that right now I want you to take your time and close your eyes and I want you to begin to speak those things that God has spoken into your spirit it may not be happening now but guess what it shall come to pass as you begin to speak it I didn't ask you to speak that loudly but you speak that within yourself and when you speak it I want you to give God a praise. Don't wait on nobody else to praise God. Once you speak it, begin to praise God. And I don't care if you say, I need healing in a relationship. I speak healing in my relationship. I speak that my children will graduate from college. I speak that my son or daughter that may be in jail will come out knowing what's going on. I speak life over death. I speak life over death. I, 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 I speak over my mother and my father. I may not have been appreciated as a child. They took me through, but I'm coming to say, God, I speak life to myself. I speak life to myself. I shall rise above the situation. I shall rise above the circumstances but I speak life if you spoke it give him praise give him praise give him praise give him, oh my god give him praise I've been divorced, but God is going to give me somebody going to love me. I give him praise. Ah, show a robot, Saka. I speak life that I'll have a new car. You don't want to talk to yourself. I talk to myself and speak it now. See, what I'm trying to encourage you to do is the enemy is trying to block the wave of praise. Because once you speak something, and then you stretch out in praise, because it may not have come to pass in their eye, but you speak those things that I know that not as though they are, because you're walking in your now faith, which is your things of, the substance of things hoped for, and the evidence of things not seen. My evidence of not things seen, not seen, is coming to pass, because I'm speaking it into an existence, and then I got the nerve to praise him. What has us today? Because the moment the adversary knows that you and I will connect together in praise. See, it's not just praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When you realize your praise has power, that the moment you start to focus and tune in to God and zone others out, unless they're on the same frequency that you're on, Something changes in the universe. Something changes in the stratosphere, in the hemisphere. Things begin to change and the heavens begin to open up to us. And that that the enemy was ruling over, can he can no longer rule because praise commands him to bow and back up and give us entrance into where we need to go. That I, I dare somebody to take that and make it work for him. I dare you to make it work for him. You're right now. I dare you to make it. Satan, back up now. My praise is coming forth. Satan, you got to loose the atmosphere. My praise is. Verse 5, Joshua 1, verse 5. I'm sorry, I need to start at verse 4. From the wilderness and his Lebanon, as far as the great rivers, the river Ephraim, and all the lands of the Hittites, and to the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your territory. Now I have to stop right there just a moment. Somebody say, shall be mine. 
I'm trying to stay calm because something has hit me in my back. And I keep looking back at me because I think somebody hit me, but ain't nobody hit me but the Lord. <laughs> and all of the territory. You don't even know your territory. That's why the enemy can come in and beat us up. You're saying, oh, I know this doctor. You know what I'm talking about. What happens is this. You don't realize that he promoted you into a new dimension because you're hanging on to a level. And he's moved you into a new dimension. And because you're not used to stretching out like you're stretching out, you're stretching out. <laughs> and you're claiming new territory you're possessing new territory but because you have not been used to possessing more than what you've been standing in and around it looked like the enemy is trying to swallow you up tell your neighbor that's not so I'm being stretched into a new territory My business is being stretched. My ministry is being spread. My influence is being stretched. My prayer life is being... I'm trying to stay calm. You've got to know that this is the time of your life that the Lord said, I am stretching you. And I'm giving you all of the territory. You've got to know your territory. you got to know, listen, there's some boundaries in your family. You'll know them when you run up on them, but other than that, you take your family by storm for Jesus. I realize, Elder Mims, that this is not how it's going to end. There's territory that God has given me. I can't speak for you because y'all sitting there be like, okay, you still stay like that. But there's some territory that God has given you. He's given you back the land that the adversary tried to steal from you. He's allowed the old waste place to be unstopped, those wells to be unstopped. I'm just about finished. Thank you, Jesus. The fifth verse. And that's why I'm trying to stay calm. But I know I got some sanctified folk in here. I don't know what's going to happen when they hear this. Okay. The fifth verse says, No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. What God has anointed and appointed can't no man stand oh my god oh. Hey, my god. Oh. that's it that's it No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage. For this people, I like this part. For this people, you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give to them. Only be strong and very what? That's right, that you may observe and do according to the law, all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it the right hand or the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. Tell somebody, wherever I'm going, I shall prosper.
But you need to understand the only reason they were able to take this word in, they had to first cross over. You can't get what you need to do until you do the first thing. Just begin to cross over. I'm, I'm just telling you, if you cross over, then God got some more instructions for you. He wants to tell you what I have in store for you. I want to tell you that I'm going to bless you. Okay. All right. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. You shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. Listen, he said, and then you will make, tell your neighbor, you've got to put something to this too. You can't keep waiting on somebody else. You got to do something also. That's why I can tell you in this house today, there's a hovering that's trying to block the praises from going up. Because the enemy knows once you shatter, what he thought he could seal. Because now you realize that I'm going to take on what the Lord said. I've already crossed over. I already know where the soles of my feet shall tread, it belongs to me. I understand that I shall get my inheritance. I know that I'll get it and it's mine. Somebody say, and it's mine. Oh, you can't even say that with power. And it's mine. And the reason it's mine, because he know he can trust me. He can trust me that I can bless somebody else with a portion of what I have. Because I must remember that no matter what he gives me that is for me, it's not just for me. It's always to bless somebody else. Well, what do you mean? This is mine. It may be yours, but it becomes your testimony to bless somebody else. So I have a key. Every one of us holds a key. The first key, after I've heard the word, is to be crazy enough to believe it and stand on it and then praise God in advance for what I know he's got to bring to pass. Tell somebody, if you don't have no strength to praise him today, I'm going to get some strength and praise him for you right now. There it is. 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 Come on, come on. Come on. There it is. I'm saying to you, he said, I just want you to, I'm closing with this statement right here. Woo. Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. There's been a put a, a dare put on us. That's the only way I'm gonna say it. They have dared you to come back. to come back and praise him like you did the other time. But I'm like David. You thought I danced on the other day. I'm telling you, I can't help myself. I'm trying to give y'all something in here. They dare you to come back and praise like you did the first time. authority like you 
like you did the first time. We, but you thought we praised him before. We're going to praise him even harder now because we know what God said he's going to do. We know what God promised in our lives. I need everybody to lift your hands and bombard heaven. Open your mouth, 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 open your mouth. Come on, come on. Every witchcraft spirit, every sorcerer spirit, we come against it in the name of Jesus. I'm encouraging you to join us in service every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Join us. God has a word just for you. Join us Monday through Friday for the international prayer call. Join us Monday through Friday. God has a word for you and we're going to praise God. We're going to praise him. Come on, come on, church. Come on, come on. I'm saying to your church, right now you're in the midst of your miracle. You're in the midst of your miracle. I just need you to worship him right there. Just begin to worship him. Bye 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 bye. Come on. Come on, midwives. I need to hear you. Come on, come on, come on. Lift your voice. 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 Hallelujah. 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 